What is up, sexy beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to unlock Pack a Pooch in Zetsubonashima. So let's go ahead and get this shit started. So it's fairly easy. First thing you're gonna want to do is turn on power. I'm assuming you already know how to do that. If you do not, first link in the description tell you how to get power on. You'll be good. All right. So now in the Pack a Punch room, which is in the top center of the map, in Pack a Punch room, there's gonna be three doors, and basically what we have to do is gather three parts so we can drain Pack a Punch. Pack a Punch is underwater. We need to drain it. There's three valves. We need to collect. Basically three parts for each valve and then drain pack a punch. So there's a room to the left, right, and middle. So the first one is going to be in the power room. So once you come to the power room, basically how we turned on power, you want to go swim underwater. And after you've already turned on power, there's going to be a part laying on the ground somewhere. And it kind of looks like a long dildo. So just look for a shiny part on the ground and it's going to look like this and just pick it up. And once you have it picked up, you want to go get the next one. You can do this in any order. There's no real particular order. Any order is fine. All right, so now we're gonna go to the middle room. So once you go to the top middle room, you wanna run all the way to the end. Go all the way to the end, go down the stairs, and basically just follow my path, I guess, in a way. Just go where I go. Open this door, and you're gonna see Mule Kick. Now, turn to the right. You're gonna see some water. Fucking more swimming, I know. But you wanna swim underwater, and we're gonna be looking for this little wheel part. It's gonna be on the ground, it's gonna be shiny, it's gonna be kinda hard to see. And also, you might die a couple of times trying to actually get this done. I've almost died like once or twice just because I couldn't really figure out where the air pockets are. But once you figure out where the air pockets are, you're going to be good. So this part is going to be laying on the ground somewhere underwater. Now, if you reach the blue part of the underwater, I think you've gone too far. I haven't seen it spawn back there. I've only seen it sort of spawn where everything is orange. So again, this part is going to be laying on the ground somewhere underwater. Go up, get air, start swimming around again, see if you can find it. Just keep going through these tunnels, you'll eventually find it. That's really the best advice I can give you. Once you sort of figure out the layout of the tunnels, it's going to be a lot easier. But if it's like your first time, like me, you're going to be lost as all shit. So just swim underwater, go one way, swim all the way to the end. Keep, make sure you keep going up and get air. I can't emphasize that enough. Don't forget about the air. Then swim back, then go the other way and see if you find it. It's going to be on the ground. It's going to be glowing. It's going to be yeah, kind of hard to see if you don't really know what you're looking for, but this is what it's going to look like. All right, in the last and final room, all you want to do is enter it, and you're going to see a bunch of bodies hanging up. All you have to do is knife each little spider web body, and either you're going to get a zombie or the part. So just knife every single body bag. Zombies are going to spawn. Hey, free points. And then eventually you'll knife the one where the part will drop, and this is what it looks like. Just pick it up, and we're going to go back to the pack punch room. Now you want to go up to each of these valves, there's three of them. It's sort of one right next to each door entrance. So just place the part there and it's going to start to drain. Just do this for all three. And then once you've done all three, pack a punch is going to be drained. And then you can go pack a punch. Go get whatever weapons you want. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully it helps. If you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.